What's up, guys? Slap. Oh. Fuck off. What's up, guys? What's up, Blakes? I'm back. Today we're going for a little rip. Not a big one because one we're expecting snowstorm. I came up to Bonaventure to grab some money out of the bank and fill my car up with gas. But I forgot my fucking wallet. So I grabbed some fucking change and I bought some monsters. And that's all she wrote for that interaction, I guess. Um, so, as you guys can hear, my speech is getting quite a lot better. Um, my S's are finally the S'ing again. No more, uh, it's not like this anymore. Not that, not that that's a bad thing. Not that that's a bad thing, you know? But, it's just, for me, and the situation, the amount of money I paid, my S is should be working <laughs> you know what I mean so there's a there's there's a fuck ton of cops out so we're gonna I'm gonna go easy on old Betsy here I never named my car yet I really didn't like officially I never officially gave my car a name if you guys got any name suggestions for this car, please let me know. Um, for the name start, I'm going for a rally street style build. So, speaking of that, there's some shit coming. And there's some shit already here. So, I'm going to talk a little bit about what arrived Wednesday. And why I chose what I chose and the story behind the brand on why I chose that brand so I bought some dope ass 1552 Tarmax in white they are the most perfect wheel in my opinion I have ever seen on this planet I would take them over rays. I would take them over fucking rotiforms. Like to me, they are just the best wheel for this car or hatchback cars in general. I find they look so fucking good and just like flawless. They just, they just, they just, they, it's like a bow tie, dude. It's just perfect. You know what I mean? It's like tucked up real nice, neat, and. You know what I mean? So, I want the 1552 Tarmax because they're nice and wide. They have like nice spokes to them. For example, if I wanted to put something on the wheels, like something custom, there's lots of room to do that and it would look, it would look sweet, right? It looked like clean. Not that I plan on doing that, but if I ever did want to, I have that option. And they're really going to suit the style of my car. Because I have a vision for this car in my head. And uh, I want to go with like a, a rally street style. Um, some people have already seen my wheels on Instagram. I'm gonna put the picture in the video right now of my wheels. Uh, I apologize I don't get to showcase them or nothing because I still gotta buy some like nice summer tires and probably some fucking TPMS sensors just so I don't have the light in the dash anymore. Well, the uh, notification. So, I still gotta get them which will be coming 
in the future because it's still snowing. We're expecting a storm tonight, like, you know what I mean? So, me and Dan, this Wednesday, we we're going to make a video on the wheels showcasing them, but we got distracted working on his truck. I'm going to play a clip of that now. Right now you're stalling is what you're doing. I'm not stalling. I'm actually doing this. I'm trying to find the stupid fucking thing for the headlights. Are you? Yeah. <sighs> you're such a dick. <laughs> Backup lights, that's not it. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Do my YouTube video for me. No, no. And everyone all in the day, comments is gonna be this day, guy bro. doesn't know shit about trucks. All day. All day. All yesterday too. What? You said, oh, it's no problem. It's no it problem. is. It isn't. No? Like literally, I'm doing it right now. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> Are you entertaining the people? It, it's filming, isn't it? I am entertaining the people by looking like a complete idiot. <laughs> what? You're a little distracted, aren't you? No. Uh, yeah. Sure, buddy. Dan, Dan, the fuse man. The fuse man, all right. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Huh? No. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? My headlight don't work, he said. You better not be lying to me, you fucker. Oh, fuck, they are actually working. I said that. About how I took two trucks. Okay. What, how many hours did it? Was 14 hours? I brushed over it on how you, you and your dad did this whole journey. And this yeah, and that. sketchy ass journey. Fucking center mount coming out of it on the drive shaft. So, he has a 1985? Yep. A 1985 Ford F-150 bullnose. 302. Has a 302 in it. I know, it could have been a 351, but you know. And I'm pretty sure it still has catalytic converters and, you know, all that stupid shit. I don't even think they have catalytic converters then. Anyways. <laughs> yep. So, he won't sell it to me. No, never will. Unfortunately. He's dying with me. He says it's dying with him, but... It can be in my grave. That will be my grave. I mean, what? One day I'll get it. No, you won't. I will. No. He talked all this shit like, oh, yeah, it's easy. I'll grab the camera and I'll do it, no problem. Yeah, I know. And it's never that. Since the camera's been out, I think he's held that book for like 20 minutes now. He's like, he's looking for a fuse. 21. He's stalling. Stalling? Stalling. Stalling. Like Joseph? Why are you gay, bro? Two bros. Just two, just he's two making bros. it gay, dude. Just, just two bros, you know? Well, he's making it gay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Alright. So, you know how to do an outro? No, I don't. How do you do one? It goes a lot like... <clears throat> it doesn't matter what the outro is! <laughs> this motherfucker. <laughs> that was... Alright guys, slapping plates. I'm out. Peace. Good time, dick measure. Bye. Have a great time. I'm back after the clip. I just realized that I don't have to wait in real life time for the video time of the clip. I can just continue talking. So, I'm back after the clip. Dan's gonna see this. And Dan said, uh, we we're talking about signing shit. And he's like, hey, if ever, anyone ever asks you to like sign their dash or something, would you do it? I'm like, yeah, I would do it be weird you know because like awkward not weird like I get why people would want that like if I met my favorite driver I'd want him to sign my dash but I'm not saying I'm anyone's favorite driver I'm just like that's an example you know what I mean so if someone asked me to do it I would he's like that would be fucking weird I'm like you want to feel something weird grab a GoPro put it in your fucking face and talk he's like no let's know like you know, like, it's not that bad. I'm like, okay. 
I'm being in the GoPro Wednesday. <laughs> You're gonna do it. <laughs> so that's all that one. You guys just seen the clips. And I just wanna say a lot harder than you thought, wasn't it, fucker? Wasn't it, fucker? <laughs> Should I tell the people about uh, fuck F <laughs> FNR Fridays? <laughs> Fuck FNR Fridays. <laughs> I'm gonna let you guys in on our little F fuck FNR Fridays. Um, it's a uh, it's a little thing we got going because we all used to work at the same place. We say fuck that place every Friday, just out of like tradition at this point. So. Can I get a fuck FNR in the chat, bro? <laughs> I'm not that guy yet, but I'm gonna say it anyways. Fuck FNR, bro. So, yeah, I'm, I'm super stoked that I finally got my dream wheels on my dream car. Now, with the tires and shit, that's gonna take like probably two months before I get the wheels installed because I wanna be on the safe side of not having to rip them through the snow. I'm going to use my road deforms as my winter wheels. I'm going to use my 1552s as summers. The next plan for this car, I have some maintenance work that needs to be done on the rear end, like trailing arms, camber arms, stuff like that. And I want to take the lowering kit off and get it back to like a nice ride height um, but I have something that's gonna solve that issue so I'm not gonna have to worry about that I just gotta find what I'm looking for and then that plans going under construction
hope you guys enjoyed the little clip of me and Daniel fucking with each other the whole time. That's my boy. Um, he's like the biggest wild goose repair fan I've ever met, I think. It's wild. Anyways, uh, <laughs> yeah. So, I hope you guys have a good weekend. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow, hopefully. Probably getting after after snowstorm riding. I'll uh, I'll definitely post some pictures of my car. I might not see many people there tonight, but I will be streaming Red Dead Redemption 2 fucking roleplay shit. It's fun. Uh, I'm gonna be streaming that tonight on Kick at Slap Plates. Um, if any of you guys need any links to my social, just go over to my Instagram at JustinSD3. All my links are there for my uh, my uh, streaming, my TikTok, you know, my YouTube channel, stuff like that. Uh, if you guys also want to send me a picture of your car with the story behind it, I'm more than happy to post them. You don't have to have a race car, or a fucking street build. It could be could be anything. It could be your fucking grandfather's 1942 fucking whatever the fuck. That been handed down to you. I don't give a shit. You be a rust bucket. I feel like me and all the, the people that spectate my Instagram, you know what I mean, and engage in all that shit. We all have the same kind of mindset where we appreciate people's builds and rides no matter what, right? And guys, the whole car community bullshit nowadays is. Literally keep it like super stock. Can we bring back the Fast and Furious style fucking cars? I hate that people hate it. I grew up fucking janky ass builds, bro. Like that's the type of shit that got me into cars. And now it's who can look the most stock with the most power. Shit's fucked. It's backwards. I hate that shit. I hate it. Underglow is fucking awesome. I don't care what anyone says. Alright. Hope you guys are having a good one. I'll see some of you tonight on stream, I think. And for the rest of you, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.